Hybrid Lighting. Discover Mirrorless recommends the LED hybrid lighting solution from Quantum called the Omicron. Omicron. Hi there, it's Marlene Helema from discovermirrorless.com and in this video blog post I'm going to be talking about what a mirrorless camera is. In other words, what makes a camera mirrorless? I teach in the classroom and a lot of my students don't really know what the difference is between a mirrorless camera and a DSLR. And these days a lot of the entry-level DSLRs like the Canon Rebels, they look a lot like larger mirrorless cameras such as the Lumix GH3. So some of them can't really tell the difference from the outside. But let's have a look at the inside now. It's a Canon 5D Mark II and it has a mirror inside as do all DSLRs and if I hold this the right way you should be able to see that mirror. Now I'm going to take a photo and you're going to see that mirror flip up and out of the way. Did you see that? Let me show it to you again a little bit slower. The mirror flips out of the way and you see your sensor. There you go. Did you see it? It was greenish. And when you take your photo that mirror flips out of the way so that the light can travel straight through the camera to the back of the sensor or the film if you're still using film. So this begs the question, why the mirror? When you view your pictures through the DSLR viewfinder, you're actually looking through the lens. And what the mirror does is it actually bounces the light and picture information up through a prism in this part of the camera. Now what the prism does is it turns it the right way around and back to front so that when you view your image you're viewing it like you see it in the scene. In the old days of view cameras you were actually looking at your picture upside down and backwards. So the prism in the DSLR cameras solved this. We also used rangefinder cameras and we still do and they actually have two lenses. One that takes the picture and one that you look through for comp composing. With a mirrorless camera it travels directly through. There is no mirror. That's simply what a mirrorless camera is. Now you can have different flavors of mirrorless camera and these days we use, typically we use an EVF, electronic viewfinder. And what you do is you look through the back of the screen, so you use the LCD viewfinder, or you actually have a viewfinder on the camera like an eyepiece, which the GH3 has, and you look through that. Now I have to admit, it took me a little while to get used to the EVF, but now I really like it. One of the reasons I really like it is because on really bright days, if I'm shooting in the snow or I'm at the beach and I can't even see my previews in the LCD, I can actually hold the GH3 up to my eyes and review the photos by looking through that EVF. To me that's a bonus because my point and shoot cameras don't have the EVF, they just have the LCD like on this Lumix LX5. Now I realize this is quite a simple explanation of what mirrorless is and there's many flavors of mirrorless on the market right now. But you know I didn't want to get all gearhead on you because well I'll leave that up to the other guys on the team. I just wanted to kind of keep it simple. Anyhow, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to discovermirrorless.com so you can stay up to date with all the latest that we're blogging about. Thanks for watching. It's Marlene Helema, discovermirrorless.com. Hybrid lighting. Discover Mirrorless recommends the LED hybrid lighting solution from Quantum called the Omicron. Omicron.